Hello and welcome to Bowler CBT Labs. My name is Matt Bowler and in this video we will be taking a look at dynamic ARP inspection configured on a Cisco Catalyst 3550 switch. Dynamic ARP inspection can be deployed and implemented uh, using a couple different methods, one of which is through the use of the DHCP snooping feature. If you have this enabled already, the dynamic ARP inspection will essentially ride on top of that database and performance inspections based on the bindings within the DHCP snooping database and the bindings there on the switch itself. The other method is to create a static access list on the switch and that is an ARP access list where you will bind a IP address and MAC address and then the inspection will be configured globally on the switch. There are two options that you have for the specific interfaces themselves one of which is to trust and the other is to not trust an interface. As you can imagine our host facing ports would be considered untrusted as that is where the attacks will be originating from in the case that uh, someone is attempting to perform an ARP spoof attack and our switch to switch communication is where the interfaces will be trusted. In this particular setup we do have a 3550 and on this computer the 192.168.0.101 I have two network cards on that particular computer. They are both connected to the switch and although this main connection here the uh, 101 is not a switch I will configure that to be a trusted in interface in the hopes of not losing connection to that computer uh, in the case that there's an emergency and I do lose connection I can always uh, finagle the configuration on the switch to get it to work but that's kind of uh, a test lab specific note there it's nothing critical that has to do with the actual implementation and the testing of the dynamic ARP inspection itself. So we may, we may uh, lose connectivity here periodically to that particular box through this lab, but it will not impact um, what we are doing with the inspection itself. So that's kind of a side note there. We will be configuring a static ARP access list on the switch, but before we do that, I'd like to show you some of the actual 